Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm really happy to be with you today and to be able to do the Oracle Card Guidance, the weekly Oracle Card Guidance. It's just a moment in the week where I can take some time off and I'm not really rushing around and I can really get into this and uh, I really enjoy it. I just wanted you to know that I really also appreciate all of you who have subscribed and who are loyal to this channel, who, who come to uh, this reading um, on a weekly basis. And I especially appreciate those of you who comment um, uh, on, the, on the reading. So thank you very much for, for coming by. Um, so in this week's uh, weekly Oracle card guidance, we have uh, three decks here. We have uh, deck one, deck two, and deck three. So go ahead and make your selection and I'm gonna begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, which is the Gateway Oracle, we're asking, what is your weekly Oracle card guidance? And so for those of you who've chosen the first option here, the card is sharing of yourself. And the caption reads, I am an incredibly generous being. And um, so I think that the advice this week is really for you to be able to value yourself and celebrate yourself as you give to others, as you share of yourself to others, where um, it may be your wisdom, it may be a service that you provide for others, it may be that you lend somebody something that belongs to you, or perhaps just let them share your space um, and let them share your thoughts, perhaps. You know, it's a, it's a time in which while as you give to others you give to yourself and in giving to others you we are always giving to ourselves in a way actually but I feel that this week it's a time to be mindful about that it's about you know making an extra effort to share ourselves as opposed to not doing that as opposed to being just focused on ourselves and where we headed to and on our own struggles and our own challenges well, this is a time where it's time to take your mind off whatever it is that it's been occupied by and to focus on how it is that you can actually give to another, how you can actually help benefit someone else, how you can bring a smile to somebody else's face and uh, make somebody and make somebody's day. I think that all else is going to fade in comparison this week when we decide that what we value at this moment is to give to another. What we value in this moment is to send blessings to another. It's to send our love to another. It's to do do a service to another, perhaps help someone in some kind of way. It's to be able to have um, a thought about another person. And perhaps it's, it's just about writing a letter to somebody who you haven't actually um, been in touch with for a while. Or perhaps it's just a as the simple act of um, doing something for another person, uh, you know, if you share a home with somebody, a cleaning up uh, perhaps um, something for them or, uh, or cooking a meal for them or just doing something that makes them feel happy. And it feels to me here that um, nothing is as important as doing that this week. That is the only thing that's going to feed you. It's the only thing that's going to help you. It's the only thing that's going to give you what it is that you need in order for you to be uh, feeling fulfilled and feeling joyous as this week goes on. And it not just, um, it doesn't just apply to you, it actually applies to another. I want to also say that, you know, don't just do this because you want to feel good about yourself for doing it. Do it because you really want to do this for the other person. And that's going to somehow change the chemistry and, and make you feel a lot happier for having done it. I think that the message is pretty on the nose and I don't think there's anything else that I need to say about it. Um, I just want to look into the card again and see if there's any channeled message that comes through. So I think here that it's important to actually realize that even though you're on your way, you have your own particular goals, you have your own particular agenda, you have your own interests. Um, and you're on your way to doing something, it's necessary some time to actually 
take a moment to to look at where somebody else in your life is really at. You know, perhaps they're feeling quite bare, perhaps they're feeling quite stark, perhaps they're feeling quite lonely and quite um, worn out in a way, or perhaps they feel like a victim of something. And and it shows me, uh, it, or at least the sense that I'm getting from this card is that, you know, sometimes you might feel really empowered about something. You might feel really good in your way, on your way. And uh, somebody else might not be feeling so great. Uh, and perhaps it's important to share some of your perspective with that person or share some of your magic, as it were, with, with somebody else who needs it at this moment. Um, I think that um, it, this card, it kind of feels to me like you are in a much more abundant or prosperous space than somebody else around you and that they could do with a little bit of what you have already and uh, I feel that it's important to 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 notice that to almost slow down a little bit so that you notice that so that you can actually provide such services along the way because if you just on your path and set on your goals and just worried about your own grievances and, and just concentrate on, on yourself, what's going to happen is that ultimately you're going to find yourself at the space that you want to be at, but it's not going to be as rich and rich in as, um, um, as rich of an experience as you actually would have if you had paused along the way and helped people along as well, or if you uh, just taking a moment sometimes to just help someone along the way. And I feel that you are in quite a blessed and privileged position in this card. Like somehow it feels like you have everything you need at this moment. And it looks like there are some people around you who are in a worse off situation. So it might not feel to you always that you have everything you need. Perhaps you, you kind of busy with your life and you think oh but I could do that and I can do this and this could work out better for me and um but there are others around you that you're surrounded with right now who are in a less um off situation than you are right now and so it would make sense to actually take a moment pause and help somebody along the way all right so I think that is the only message that I have for you I feel like you know where you're headed to is quite a, a, a sunny place and where you are like what's happening in your life or how you are developing right now is actually quite um it's pretty perfect for you in, in terms of where you're headed to and even though you might actually not feel that or you might not see that and you not might not even see how you can get from where you at to where you need to go need to be at uh or where you uh have chosen to go to as your as you know as part of your your goals and, and your soul purpose i think that here you are actually are on that track you are on that path to getting there and so there's nothing really to be concerned about there's nothing really more that you can do for yourself that's going to be um that or nothing that you need to adjust rather about yourself that's going to help you get to where you need to go to sooner it's more like you just need to go be on your way and along the way just pause and help people along if you can and that's like the, the be all and the end all of your situation right now it doesn't look like you have major obstacles ahead of you it doesn't look like you know what is uh that there's really going to be something on your on your way as you go ahead it feels to me like there'll be a lot going on around you uh as you go ahead there might be things might not go be, be so well for people around you but i feel like you you will be actually fine so it's rather nice that for those of you who've chosen this card because I feel that's a really lovely positive reading and I hope that you will agree all right so I'm gonna let you be on your way and um yeah sending you many blessings and much love have a good week so for those of you who've chosen the second option here we have the angel answers deck by Doreen Virtue we asking what is the message that you need to have for the week as you go along? What is the guidance that you've come here to receive? So 
So for those of you who've chosen the second option, the card is romance. And uh, of course, this might mean that this is a week in which love might appear for you or where you have an opportunity to have romance with your current partner or you have an opportunity to be able to uh, have romance with yourself or create a, a romantic environment for yourself or perhaps it's a week where it's easier to see the romance of life where it's easier to see um, the beauty of your environment of your life of all that is around you where and perhaps it's also a week where you can create that beauty around you you can create that romantic atmosphere in your home um, by doing things that make you feel in love or make you feel love the, the vibration of love and so I think those are the the most um, obvious messages of this card I think for those of you uh, who aren't in a relationship and uh, who won't be finding uh, somebody to love this week or somebody that might be uh, a love in your life I feel here that there's quite a lot happening inside of you on various different levels and it's like a churning up inside of you and it seems like you are there's something going on on a subconscious level for for some of you so this this message is not going to resonate with everyone uh, necessarily but it it feels here like one of the messages I'm getting is that you've been dreaming uh, of somebody vaguely perhaps you have some vague recollections of it but where you have kind of psychic um, connection a love psychic love connection with this person and this is somebody who may not exist in this world it might be somebody who has existed previously in this world or it may be somebody who you might have known previously uh, or, or somebody unknown and it's I uh, like I think that this week if you pay attention to your dreams you might find that you have some information coming from that it just feels to me that's like a lot churning in your uh, subconscious and this feelings these feelings are almost preparing you for something I also feel here that for some of you who aren't in relationships, that there is a chance that you might be able to bring love into your life. So if you've not had love or a relationship for in your life for uh, a, f a fair amount of time now, you might find that a door suddenly opens and it starts, this, this is a moment, this week is a moment at which you'll be able to find that love can come back into your life again it can actually exist or you could be more open to a relationship or having some kind of interaction with somebody that is loving and it might be that it's not really right now but it could be in a few months from now or in a year from now even well I wouldn't I don't feel like it's a year from now I have to say it could be like between now and the end of this year or like until about like May next year something like that I think that there's a chance that you could have some kind of romance in your life or at least you'll have the possibility to meet some someone because on some level I feel like some of you who are getting this card are getting this card because it says well listen you've actually not been interested in love you've not been putting that energy out there that you want love in your life but at one moment you thought about that and you felt love in your in your heart and there's something coming along the way that matches that vibration so it's almost like um, there's some something that's triggered it off. You know, perhaps a friend has asked you a question about love or about your future in some kind of way and you've given them an answer. And at that moment, you have had some kind of feeling um, that reignited this possibility and the universe is kind of matching that vibration for you by bringing somebody along or bringing some opportunities along I don't think it's one person I feel like there are several opportunities for you to choose and it's really up to you to decide if you are willing to share some of your life with a person another person or embark upon um this romance um yeah and so I don't feel like it's going to be immediate but I feel like something about this week has opened a door for that to, to happen it's opened the possibility for that to happen and I think that it can be quite an aus auspicious uh, relationship if you were to to consider one 
there's another message in this card and I feel here that there's a need to recognize the romance in your own life or create the romance in your life in terms of your your mind and your emotions and not just in terms of something physical you know not necessarily um, by having a bath with candles or something like that but rather by um, feeling the love and the connection and the the tolerance for your for your fellow human being or for your neighbor perhaps or for somebody that has a different perspective from your own and there's almost a sense that we can look for each other on a different plane there's we can look for each other on a on a different level and on a level of love and we can see each other uh, as souls and beings and we don't need to interact with each other on a level that is of that of bickering or arguing or, or um, disagreement we can actually connect with each other on a level that is love and we can romance our way into that so if you have um, at all found yourself in a situation where you are at odds with someone uh, that you perhaps care about or perhaps even don't care about but that you're at odds with someone and and it's um it's a, it's a feeling that you can't shake. I would say try to connect with them uh, in a kind of meditation where you would reach out to them and where you will, where you can say something to them that you want to say to them. And I actually have a, a, a meditation on this channel that does or facilitates something like that. And I, I will link it here in case you're interested. But if you are in a situation where you feel like you need to have some kind of peace or you need to build a bridge with someone, I think that it's necessary for you to go along and connect with them, not on a level where you're trying to reason with them or trying to gain their favor or their, um, you know, try to convince them of something because it feels to me like that is not the way to do it, but rather to be able to reach out to them on an energetic level and reach out to their soul. All right, so that is quite a lot of mes messages in this in this card here. I'm quite surprised, you know, when I when I pull this card out, I was thinking, oh, yeah, romance. I wonder what I'm gonna get for this. And uh, I was like thinking, okay, you know, it's just romance. It's gonna be like one message, and and then there's obviously always lots of messages in there when you're channeling, and you can actually, um, you know, there's there's a lot of you who are watching these videos like at least a hundred of you. And so I think that there's always going to be more than one message coming across. And, and then obviously there's going to be messages that don't resonate with some. Uh, do let me know when it resonates. It really, uh, you know, it's important for me to have some kind of feedback so that I can know how to, to um, you know, evolve this channel as well. All right, so I'm going to leave you there and I hope that that has been a helpful message for you and I'm wishing you a lot of love and romance and good things in your life. Many blessings to you. All the best. And so for those of you who've chosen the third option, which is the Magical Unicorns uh, um, deck, um, uh, these cards actually belong to my daughter. I've just borrowed them <laughs> for, this, for today. Uh, yeah, well, for those of you who've chosen this option, we're asking what is the weekly oracle guidance and what is the message that you've come here to hear? And for those of you who've chosen the third option, the card we have is very soon. And the caption reads, what you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way. And my goodness, I wish that I could have had this card today. Uh, but it's really a lovely card because I feel like if you've been experiencing some kind of anxiety, if you've been a bit worried about a situation, or not actually sure of how it is that you're going to be able to go to where you need to go to or do what it is that you need to do. I feel like this is confirmation here that this the situation will be resolved quite soon and that you don't need to worry about it too much. And you, I feel like you also don't need to worry about how it's going to evolve or how it's going to, how you're going to be able to come to that space. There is a sense here that you have the energy, you've put the energy out into the world and that it's just a matter of time before the energy 
uh, before the world responds to your energy and before the world is able to um, present a solution to you. And I feel like here also that you might have a sense that things are just not happening in the way that you need to. You might have a sense that you're not really stuck, but things are just not moving in the way that um, that you had hoped it would or that you had planned that it would. And I think there's nothing to worry about here because the way I see it is that everything is in alignment in, your, in the situation, in your life. And it seems like it's just a matter of you curbing your own anxiety or coming to terms with the fact that this is just going to take a bit longer about having a little bit of patience uh, or developing some patience at the very least. And, you know, if you have been patient until now and and you're offended by what I'm saying, I think just, you know, try to be a little bit more patient with this because this card really is here to say it's just going to be okay. And it's not just a very soon card. It's a card that says you know, what you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way. And so I think you can be assured that things will work out well. Um, and I feel like, you know, words written have uh, quite a, quite a, um, a prophetic um, kind of meaning to it. It can be that, you know, you will have it. And I think that one of the things you could also do is you could perhaps write down an affirmation that, you know, um, that you're thankful for what has happened and for it working out in a happy way or for it working out the way you wanted it to and and see if that works, you know. Um, there are so many different tools to be able to create what it is that you want in your life. There's so many different ways of being able to make things happen in the way that you need it to happen. And I think there isn't just one solution. And if you are in a space where you're feeling a little bit desperate right now and you're feeling like you'd like for this to change or you'd like for things to change faster uh, and that things are just not moving fast enough, then I think that it's time for you to just simply Find a solution for which in which is going to help you to get where you need to go to or is going to put you on a fast track to where you need to get to. And I just want to suggest here that you try affirmations like you just write down that uh, on, a, on a daily basis or however often you want. Actually, you can decide that. And, you know, there are also a lot of other things that you can try. You can try spells um, if it is something that you quite eager to have done you can try using a spell to be able to to get it i could fix one for you or tell you about how to do it you can um buy one for, for me uh, or you could also just go online and go into google and and read and you know just google it and um there are spells ranging from very simple to really difficult and you know it's not thing that is um that is necessarily bad unless you're wishing that you 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 know you're wishing ill upon somebody it's just basically showing um the intent that you have and the the more um focused intent that you have and a, and a ritual a spell is really about that it's just basically saying okay universe you know i've been asking for this in my mind and i've been wishing for it in my heart but i really want this to happen and here it is i'm gonna do something and show something that it actually is is you know it's I want it to happen I want there's a sign you've been waiting for a sign from me where <laughs> here is a sign from me and I think that that is a one solution to be able to um to work with the energy to be able to create what it is that you desire I just want to see what else is in this card here um for you so I think that uh, you know, this this creature is an alicorn. It has a little horn here and it has the, the wings uh, as well. And I feel that, you know, there's a moment where you might think, I have everything that I need to be able to make this happen. I have all the skills. I have all the, um, the power to make this happen. I have the courage to make it happen. But I still am not making it happen. I'm still not able to make it happen. And I think that if you are in that situation, if that might be a real minority of you who feel that way, if you are, if you feel that it's, it's just a matter of, you know, the universe making its way toward you and that you have done everything in your means to be able to make this happen, I think that, you know, just rest assured that sometimes the tides are 
a particular way and you just wait need to wait for the tides to turn for you, for the for the, whatever it is that you desire to work out well sometimes it's just a matter of timing a matter of universal timing sometimes it just depends on what everyone else is doing in the world at this moment and you know which is going to uh, manage the ebb and the flow of the energy that's coming towards you that's going to support what it is that you want to be doing in your life or where it is that you need to be going to whatever it is that you need and I think that the message here is just to say well try to well um kind of stay above that I think in a way it's difficult to but I think also just to be able to recognize that there is something here that's beyond your control that's not allowing you to move as fast as you want to and I feel there's one more message in here for you so I just want to take a look at this again so I just want to reiterate that, you know, things around you may not be as savory or may not be as calm or maybe a little bit cloudy. It might be a little stormy. It might be that the seas are a bit rough and it shouldn't deter you from what it is that you want to do. It shouldn't deter you from uh, what it is that you want to create for yourself and I feel that for some of you who've come to this reading I think I mentioned it already twice now but I just want to say it again it might be that you're dealing with anxiety at this moment and it could be fueled by the fact that a lot's going on around you a lot's going on in the world right now and I think that just try to work with that and and deal with that and and let go of that in some way however way whichever way you choose to and I think that that's going to be like half of the problem solved here if you are able to work with your anxiety work with whatever emotions there are that are stopping you from actually being joyous from actually you know being blissful in a way because you can choose right now to be blissful you can choose right now to access that home inside of you and and feel what it is that you need to feel and that is always available to you you know it's always available it's also available to those who are being tortured right now um our physical reality our cellular reality is only that you know we have a reality that's energetic and that is be greater than and that we can tap into a pool of this consciousness and be able to access whichever emotions that we want in any given moment and i feel that if you need to escape for a moment or if you feel like you're not really able to make headway or if you feel like you're not really relating to others right now or if you feel like you just want to be above this situation and not in this situation not immersed anymore i think just tap into that fast uh, consciousness and access a feeling access a memory access uh, a space of empowerment for yourself so that you don't need to be faffing around with everything else that's going on in the world right now all right so i'm gonna leave that message there for you and i hope that has been a helpful message and i hope that you've all benefited from this reading and so I'm wishing you a very wonderful week uh, as you go along and may you feel blessed and happy and well and stay safe and healthy. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.